guys and i and i and i um, wanted to follow up on that video and i've been talking about it on a live show for every week but uh miss rocky unetti the young lady went missing in october 2022 and was found four days later by the tennis courts at princeton university she um the the, the state has declared her death suicide for which i don't believe for which I don't believe. Let me, as a matter of fact, let me read this off so I don't mix up nobody's words. The autopsy report still has been has not been released, and an investigation to her death by the Department of Public Safety, which is the Department of the University, that's their uh, Department of Investigation, Department of Public Safety, the University said it takes twelve to sixteen weeks, and that was prior to them saying that uh, she was, it was pronounced a suicide. The Mercy County Prosecutor Office had, has ended their investigation as of October 24th. They said her death doesn't look like it was foul play was involved. Um, who paid them to say that? Who paid the department to say that it doesn't look like it was foul play? See, the culprit in all of this, ladies and gentlemen, is Princeton University. Nobody's holding Princeton University feet to the fire because they probably make so much money for that state and there's so much people in power because it, it is a Ivy League school. It's an Ivy League school and they don't want none of that bad press that there's an actual abductor and murderer on campus. Now, I know that the, a, a lot of what I'm saying is going to go over a lot of people's head and they're going to look at me as the crazy wild black man, especially with the name of my show, which I am proud of. But this young lady needs justice and her family needs justice and they need to figure out what happened to this young lady. And I think that they already know they're just going to protect Princeton University because of it. it's an Ivy League school. Something just as simple as go back and check the campus security cameras and trace from when she left wherever she was at to when she went by the tennis court. If it was a suicide. If it was a suicide, then there should be campus security cameras that will follow her to see exactly what she did to herself had it been that that's simple that don't take much again uh this is just the update for everybody who was on the last video and they was asking me about the, uh, what was the update on her the update is they said that the university the department of public safety of the university and the state has declared it a suicide her death a suicide and we all know that that's false why would the Mercy County stop its investigation into this? Who paid them to do that? Who, who there in Mercy County in high position went to Princeton University and was told to stop the investigation into this? I don't bring in race into the situation. I don't bring in class. Obviously, if, if she wasn't in Princeton University on a scholarship, she obviously comes for money. But we know that had this been anybody else or any other family, that they would have made sure that they figured out what happened to this young woman. Had she been anybody else. So right in front of our face, somebody goes missing and they're telling us that this young lady, full of life, happy, full of smiles, in college family said she had no inkling of being unhappy or they would have known all of a sudden she just committed suicide hold princeton university feet to the fire hold their feet to the fire because they know something that they're not releasing let me know in the comments what you think about this this suicide by this young lady, Miss Rocky uh, Unetti. And be sure to subscribe to NWO News for more urban news updates.